Oh hey, you clicked on the video. You read the title correctly. Today we're going to be catching every shiny Pokemon on Indigo Disc. We're going to be doing a Nuzlocke challenge. In this Nuzlocke challenge, we have to make sure that we're around the same level as the people that we're going to at all times. And if we lose a battle, we have to revert our save to the last event that we completed. In this video, we're going to be getting every shiny Pokemon inside of the Indigo Disc, including all the starters and every Pokemon that exists in the wild. We can immediately start the second part of the DLC just by going into the entrance hall. And whoa, look at this flood dude right here okay this dude got that thing on hey what's up is that my boy duwaji yo i came here all the way from another region just to tell you hey you attended my school now i'm the director and all that okay bet i'll join your school especially if i get to look anything like you you fly as hell man what is the school even called hey you already know you're gonna be attending the blueberry academy we got way cooler and stronger pokemon and all that hey what the hell do you think you're doing what the is this the blueberry man i told you to stop coming around here Mr. Welcher is always trying to steal my students and shit and the best one at the school. Come on, yo. Hey, Director Cabo, you're going to have to stop playing me. It's Kid Crit. I mean, Cool Clary Academy. Hey, I'm not going to lie. That sounded like something bad. We can't even save the video. Oh, no. I'm going to need you to stop playing with me, cuz. Duwaji don't even want to attend your lame-ass red school anyways. Isn't that right, Duwaji? You coming with me. You never coming back here either. What? You telling me I'm about to leave all my family and friends? Hell yeah. You want to be fly like me, yo? Hey, I ain't lying. Let's go. What? Duwaji, you you're really just gonna leave the school like that? You're the coolest one here. Like, oh my god. Look at the top of this dude's head. This dude bald as fuck. All right, bro, you talking way too much. But hey, welcome to the ending of this. We get on the plane to this new academy that's literally underwater. It's futuristic and all that. It's kind of crazy. We immediately make it to this region and meet Lacey. Hi, director. You looking fly today. Bitch, I know damn well you ain't flirting with me. I'm old as fuck. Anyways, how about you go show this little nigga around? Show him how we do everything over here at Big Blueberry Academy and all that nonsense. Nah, Lacey starts showing us around and immediately wants to battle against us. So we just smoke her with her Area Zero Pokemon that we got last video. If you haven't seen that video, hit the eye right there it took like 150 hours but that's besides the point right after beating lacy we're able to make our way to the terrarium or i don't even know what this place is called i'm not gonna lie but this is essentially the wild for this academy meaning when lacy waves her goodbyes we're able to finally start searching for our indigo disc shiny pokemon i was traveling in the wild and i saw that there was flygons so i immediately ate an encounter power sandwich for ground types and started searching for a shiny vibravia or flygon and eventually we got our first shiny shiny Pokemon in this region. The shiny Vibravia. Let's go. And now that we have an Indigo shiny Pokemon, that means this challenge begins. And if our new Vibo dies in battle, guess what? It's gone forever. Since all these Pokemon in this area are level 65 and above, we're able to just give a rare candy to our Flygon and immediately evolve it. I mean, it has some pretty decent moves. We were able to teach it Dragon Dance. Yo, this is the best first Pokemon we could have asked for. But we continued our hunt. And by the swampy area, we found a shiny Croc Rock. We're able to throw Ultra Ball at it and immediately catch it with the crit. Everybody welcome Chronic to the team. And I love Crocodile, so this Pokemon is going to be awesome. The next shiny Pokemon that we managed to encounter was a shiny Executor. We managed to catch it and add it to our team. The next shiny Pokemon that we managed to encounter was a shiny Rhydon. A little bit after that with the flying encounter sandwich, we were able to get a shiny Vullaby. While we were on top of this mountain, we got the shiny Minor. Weird Pokemon, I'm not going to lie. Soon after that, in the water, we were able to encounter the shiny Arachnid. Catch that bad bad with it. Algebra. Nah, Zane. Literally minutes after that, we sh encountered the shiny Zangoose. We caught that, and we managed to encounter a shiny Alolan Muck. We were able to get that with the Ultra Ball. And since all of these Pokemon were above level 60, I was able to just give a rare candy to a lot of them and evolve them. We were able to get the Crocodile and the Mana Buzz. Man, it's so nice we were able to get all these Pokemon that are fan favorites inside of the game. It's about goddamn time. I'm not gonna lie. Hey, we made it about halfway to the video. If you enjoyed this video so far, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. These videos take a long time, but hey, that's besides the point. If you want my editors to eat, you already know what time it is. My editors be dying. And if you are subscribed already, liking the video helps immensely. Let's get this video to 800 likes so we can get that second part out. So at this point, we have seven, nine Pokemon. I wasn't really counting. You guys count for me. That are all shinies. Yeah, it took a little minute, but this is a pretty strong team if I do say so myself. Right after we got done with all of that, we managed to encounter a shiny Oricorio out of nowhere. It was literally just 
just sitting waiting for me like what the hell hey i'm not complaining i started looking around was like bro wait is there any more shiny pokemon it took a long ass time but we finally made it to our first class oh hey Dwaji, can i be real with you what the fuck took so long yo it's literally been two weeks in game we've all been standing here waiting for you oh my bad i was catching shiny pokemon and shit shiny po what the fuck is that god damn boy it's about time you finally made it we sat here for like two weeks for your slow ass all right class i may be exaggerating a little bit can anyone tell me how long did it take for the slow ass n to get to class can anyone tell me oh yeah uh it's been like nine hours god damn all right bro i'm gonna get off this dude's ass pause on that well at least he made it now go talk to him oh my god bro we gotta talk to this dude i'm not gonna lie to Aji. hopefully this don't take too long but i'm gonna need you to go find a lowland shiny pokemon real quick yo hopefully you don't come back in two weeks <laughs> yo slow ass <laughs> hey you not gonna play with me boy i already got a lowland shiny pokemon what the hell how do you already get the bitches yo what the okay okay i see you Dwaji. you really hit him they wasn't playing about you yo yeah you can't play my dude Dwaji. my dude be going crazy well i'm not gonna lie i was just planning to end class right when someone found it so y'all people gotta leave so boom just like that we intended our first class and all that right after this we flew our way to the central plaza and found this girl talking about synchronization i didn't really understand what she wanted us to do but then she put a headset on us and literally gave us the ability to control our pokemon with our mind look at our character over here we're just focusing really hard and we're able to control our shiny flygon it's so cool to be able to play as our shiny pokemon now she gave us three rare candies for doing this so i was like you know what hold up let me let me let me help you a little bit more i want to i want some more rare candies and all that so right after this she literally made us synchronize as our flygon and start battling random pokemon hell yeah me and duwaji smoking these dumb ass pokemon one tap damn yo why you hitting us like this she then gets us the synchro machine, meaning we can do this anytime we want, which is pretty insane. I tried using it, but I, I guess there's conditions to it because it wasn't letting me. If you know, let me know. But I kid you not, while we were walking around here, yo, we got a freaking shiny gra- Oh my god, that's the ugliest freaking shiny Pokemon in existence. This thing looked like a meatball. We in Italy right now, yo? This shiny gravel came out of nowhere like we we're in cloudy with a chance of meatballs. But guess what? I haven't completed the first part of the DLC, so I had this spend the next 20 hours completing ki the Kinikami region. But here's the thing. All of these Pokemon, they're leveled up pretty decently. So when I was going through this, there was a high chance that some of my Pokemon were gonna die. I'm not gonna go over this because we're going over the Indigo Disc. You guys saw the Till Mask video. I'm not gonna do that again. But I do regret to inform you that some of our shiny Pokemon died during this. These battles were really hard, especially against Karen when he actually has leveled up Pokemon. And we lost Zanny, unfortunately. And man, let's not even talk about the Loyal 3. They just destroyed a lot of my pokemon man we lost ori ori to pheasantipity after we beat okie doggy and we were leaving we encountered a shiny nose pass in out in a while but uh yeah we can't use this pokemon because it's not an indigo disc pokemon monkey dory almost took out vibo but we managed to beat the rest of the dlc without losing a single pokemon fortunately we decided to use our cards to get a new hairstyle i got the bantu knots again and everything you all already know and we could finally continue progressing through the game and hey yo is that carmen look if you're familiar with the Till Mask video, you already know. I seen someone just like you the other day. He came through and destroyed all of our Pokemon, and he was black. I ain't never seen a black person in my life, and you're the second one I ever seen. Like, what the fuck? Why do you look so fly? Hey, you already know we be fly as hell. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know why you surprised. Open up Instagram. You know what? That's why I'm tired of you. Oh, hey! What's up, Tawaji? What the? What, what, what were you gonna say? I don't know. I think she was gonna say something crazy. Before I smack this bitch in the face, I'm about to leave. Bye! I'm not gonna lie to Aji, you hold us last video not completing the game, meaning we weren't max level, so you already know we're gonna have to run that round too, back bitch! And we immediately start the battle against Carmen, and I accidentally forgot to fucking swap out Ogre Pond, so we had to take a turn swapping him out. We swapped the Vibo and used Earthquake, only hitting the Mighty Eno, unfortunately. The next turn, Toucan Sam starts heating up his beat as we use a Dragon Dance on Vibo. Then we use Outrage on the Toucan, and for some reason, it burned me! Mighty Eno hit me with that two-piece combo and literally exploded on me and killed chronic hey yo what the what was that what was that combo the freaking move 
What was that move that they used? I ain't never seen that in my freaking life. I had no choice but to swap to Iraqi. I had no idea what the heck to do here. I decided to use a Dragon Claw on a Toucan Sam. Was able to take that out, get super famed by the Mightyena, but Iraqi had Leech Life, which was enough to take out the Mightyena. Scrafty and then Sinichuk comes out. Intimidating both of my Pokemon, unfortunately, but I decided to stay in, use Crunch on a Sinichia and a Leech Life. But hey, you dumbass bitch, I knew you were gonna do that because I'm a ghost type, grass type, terrestrialization form. Oh, nah, they're terrestrializing in double battles and shit, yo. Flygon, you gotta take this dude out right now. You already know I got you, son. Ow. Damn, you put the hell out of him. You lucky monkeys keep getting crits on me. And you know what? I'm tired of this. Oh my God, why you gotta be racist? She immediately paralyzes my Flygo and then uses ice put. Oh, Dwaji. Ah! Damn, they killed Vibo. Number 69, we need your help. Hey, you already know I got you, son. I immediately terrestrialize Araki into a bug type. Bitch, I don't give a fuck if you're a bug type. Take this. Yo, does she just spill hot tea on everybody in the field? She's drinking us. We stay in and use lunge on the Scrafty. Lauren gets attacked and... Yes, sir. You already know I'm about to use that gunshot, boy. Get out of here. Hey, but it's not over yet. It's not over yet. Landing that 100% toxic. You're going to pay for killing my homie Vibo. Fight back, bitch. Fight back. We jumped the hell out of that scrap, yo. You're not gonna kill my boy Vibo and get away with it. All right, all right, good game, good game. But I swear I'm tired of your chocolate hamburger lip that. Wait, wait a second. Do you hear somebody talking? Yo, we're not gonna just slide past that, but like you just. I told you we need to eradicate them. What the? Yo, what was that? Look, I'm not gonna say this to you again. If you don't have a hatred for black people like I do, I'm gonna need you to leave the team. But Karen, what did black people do to us in the first place? I told you. A black person came to my island and humiliated me. If you don't hate black people as much as I do, I'm gonna have to tell you to leave the team. Wait, come on, Kira. You don't gotta be like that, son. Damn, it seemed like my brother's making cults and shit. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. That was kind of crazy to watch. <laughs> Yo, who is this weird ass dude over here? Hey, you don't gotta worry about me to watch you. I'm not racist like these motherfuckers. I'm gonna take you to the crib, yo. And right here gives us the ability to use our BP to unlock new things inside of the DLC. Right after this, we're able to see your dorm room. All right, the watch. you remember what we were doing in the mass video you already know what time it is hey yo carmen i'm still recorded hey yo before i ended off the video for today i was able to catch a shiny duck trio look at this shiny pokemon this is crazy a shiny toucanon a shiny tentacle and that was pretty much it we make our way to the entrance of blueberry academy and drayden is here waiting for us so we can sign up hello welcome to blueberry academy do you want to join the blueberry league today yeah, I wanna join the Blueberry League. I gotta see what's up with this region. Everybody watching right now wanna see some Pokemon battles. Wait a second. Um, I'm sorry to tell you this, but we don't allow people who look like you to join the Blueberry League. Wait, wait, what do you, what do you mean? Hey, hold on a minute. I know we don't want black people to be in power, but that's my boy Dewaji. He good. Um, I don't mean to sound rude, but who the fuck are you? Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. Listen here, you racist ass Hispanic bitch. You're gonna let Dewaji join the BB League. Oh shit, is that Kieran? He's a champion. Okay, if you say you gotta join, then I'm listening to you. Hey, yo, why this little ass dude that look like he from K to anime get to tell you what to do? Yeah, that's right, Dewaji. Like that Hispanic bitch that hates black people said, I'm the champion. And although it's literally only been a day, and I was literally shitty at Pokemon a couple hours ago, you can't beat me anymore, you black bitch. Okay, wow, I, I can't believe that happened. I'm not gonna lie. But it's about time that we join the BB League. That means we can go against the four seasonal Elite Four members. Yeah, I don't really understand understand but we have to make our way to crispin so we can take on the elite trial during this elite trial we have to talk to all of these people god dang there's a lot of people over here but i'm not gonna lie this portion of the game this elite test right here made zero sense to me so i'm gonna tell you what you have to do if you don't want to know skip this portion of the video but first things first you gotta go talk to this brown haired girl that wants to give us potato salad but in order for you to get the potato salad you have to participate in a battle i immediately start the battle with her meatball and chronic she has an electro which is super awesome and the most annoying Pokemon in existence because it has no weaknesses because it has Levitate. But that's besides the point. Our Meatball literally gets smoked by Electros by its fucking Giga Dream. Like, yo, what the heck? I was forced to be very strategic about how I was going to do this. I was able to kill all of her Pokemon within the next couple of turns. But unfortunately, since we're doing a Pokemon Nuzlocke, like I said, we lose Meatball, which kind of sucks because this Pokemon was going to carry us, especially if we got to go against fire types. Oh, but it's not over yet. 
yet. We gotta go against another guy who has two Pyroars, a female and a male one. And for some reason, it doesn't let me swap out my Pokemon until we finish this elite test. So I decided to swap the Sammy to use Earthquake to take out both of his Pokemon simultaneously. We get his mayonnaise. Hey, yo, pause on that. Actually, you know what? That's not bad to say. I can eat this guy's mayonnaise if I want. We get this chili sauce from this black girl. Wait, how come you were able to join the league? Because they're incredibly sexist and racist on top of that. They honestly believe there's no possible way a black woman would ever become champion in this region. Damn, Pokemon sucks. We get this jalapeno from this white dude. We get a little bit of mustard. All we had to do is trade some vinegar. And last but most certainly not least, we have to get some chorizo, but all he wanted was an egg. So we don't have to battle anyone anymore. But right here is the recipe. I'm gonna tell you the recipe that you need to do in order to get this right. You need one onion, one jalapeno, one chorizo, mayonnaise, chili sauce, and mustard. You finish that off with the fiery pick and voila, you're done. This dude takes a bite and he's- Oh my God! Yeah! Oh my God! Oh, honey, what you put on this? Oh, I got diarrhea! Oh my God! And just like that, you finish the elite trial. Bro, I don't know if we're playing Pokemon or we're playing Food Wars. Hey, yo, Dawaji, I'm not gonna lie. You shouldn't even be here in the first place, but that's besides the point. What did you put on my sandwich? You gave me some crazy diarrhea. But you know what? You're gonna pay for this. I know this dude that looked like he should be in Food Wars is not talking to me. Hey, I hear you over there. This is not Food Wars. We immediately start the battle with Sammy and Iraqi. We get Thunderbolt about to Rotom, but we're able to hang on and use Rock Blast on the Talonflame, being able to kill that in literally two or three hits. The next Pokemon he sends out his Magmortar. We're able to dodge the overheat from Rotom, but it doesn't even matter because Magmortar uses a heat wave in the sun, literally almost killing Iraqi and destroying Sammy. Yeah, that's another Pokemon dead. I'm over here looking at my team and I'm like, whew, I don't got any answer to these Pokemon. I wasn't even anticipating to be forced to do double battles in the first place. Anyways, Rotom uses a Thunderbolt and destroys Iraqi and Magmortar does Thunderbolt on number 69, but we're able to get that Toxic off. Right now, I don't really have a way or any idea how I'm going to be able to destroy these Pokemon and these Pokemon have water coverage because they're anticipating to go against water types and the fact that it's in the sun means when I terrestrialize into a water type and use surf we barely do any damage to the Magmortar especially considering that they had a water resistant berry. Luckily we we're able to destroy the Magmortar with a gunk shot by number 69 and the next set of Pokemon comes out. Wait a second he has six Pokemon? Oh my god! I'm not gonna lie I was sitting contemplating thinking what could I possibly do to get rid of this Pokemon. I didn't know what to do, but then it came to me. We used Tenti Surf to be able to do a four times super effective surf onto Camerupt while Executor literally destroys me with a solar beam, unfortunately, but we're able to destroy the Executor in one shot with the gunk shot. But then we get smoked by the earth power. Man, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I only have two Pokemon left. I swap out Chronic and Doug Buds. And you already know I'm terrestrializing my Blaze again. What the? You have Blaze again? That shit ain't fair at all. But Doug Buds is faster than Blaze again and the camera up, meaning we're able to destroy the camera up. We don't have to worry about that. And Chronic is faster than the Blaziken. Unfortunately, we killed Doug Bugs in the process, bro. But that means we destroyed Crispin at the cost of all of the Pokemon we literally just caught. Congratulations. You played yourself. Okay, bro. This is the part of the video that I realized, okay, man, these trainers are no joke. The combination of them being level 80, literally almost level 100, and the fact that they're using all of these setups and move combinations that can utterly destroy Pokemon despite their typing, I knew this was going to be a crazy DLC. So now we're kind of forced to catch some more Pokemon. Good for you guys, not good for me. The first Pokemon that we encounter right after this is the shiny Magby. Next shiny we got is Rhyhorn. Then we got a shiny Sawsbuck. We encountered a shiny Tyro. We got a shiny Munin. Minin? I don't even know. Then we got a shiny Exodrill. We got a shiny Electabuzz. After catching all of those Pokemon, our Pokemon evolved from just leveling up. And this right here is very very rare. We evolved our Tyrogue and we got a Hitmontop. Usually it's very hard to get a Hitmontop. If you didn't know, its evolution is based off its attack and defense. And Hitmontop is one of my favorite Pokemon of all time. The fact that I was able to get a shiny version is amazing. Yes! Wait, I'm geeking too much? Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I definitely do want to evolve our Electabuzz and all that, but I'm going to have to do it later because I'm going to have to switch Pokemon versions. We make it to the icy area and I see a bunch of Pokemon that I want. So you already know I decided to hunt for some Pokemon in this area also. It took a significant amount of time, but we were able to encounter a shiny seal, a shiny Solosis. I barely could even tell this was a shiny. We even got to encounter a shiny Lapras. And while we were in the water, we encountered the shiny Hisuian Quillfish. 
fish. That's a really good typing, I'm not gonna lie. While we were in the water, we also encountered the shiny Macillary. But at this point, I was very, very, very tired of shiny hunting for Pokemon. So we made our way to the very next Elite Four member that we had to take on, and we ended the video there. In the next video, we're gonna be taking on Drayden. Like I said, these videos take hours and hours and hours, so I'm gonna split up the progression of these videos in multiple parts. This is the first part, but there's gonna be two more parts coming out. So let's make sure to get this video to 800 likes. 800 likes! That's all I'm asking. So you guys can see all the shiny Pokemon on screen right now is literally just a handful of the Pokemon that we encountered. So if you enjoyed the video at any point, make sure to subscribe and tune in every week because we post videos just like this every single week. Thank you for watching.